Hello and welcome back to Jack's FS videos. I hope all my blue arrows are doing very nice on this lovely Sunday evening. Uh, let's just do a quick AV check before we go any further. Make sure that you can hear me okay, that you can see me okay. Uh, let me know if everything is all good. Hopefully it is. Nice to see you again, great to see you back. Hello again. Hello, welcome everyone. Zulu, Jacob, Zodiac, Bada, Noah. Yeah, I can hear and see you okay. Okay, all working good. Fantastic. That is better than it was last time. Oh, I've got a mark on, on my face now. Um, a lot better than last time because we started about 10 minutes late last time, so we're already doing better. Uh, but here, yeah, so we're coming back here for another crack at the old Microsoft Flight Simulator, the brand new game that just came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so let's see who we got. We've got Avia, Dylan, Mrs. Bambi, uh, Rory, Gene the YouTube player, Oliver, Moet, Kappa, Tringer, GTFH. Love you, Vigs. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to quickly send a picture that we are live on Snapchat so that we can let everyone know. Just send that off and then we are good to go. Let me know how your day has been everyone, what you've been up to today. It's been a really nice day here in the UK. Let me know where you're from, what the weather's been like, because it's certainly been good here, what you've been up to. Uh, I've been, uh, I've had a busy couple of days actually celebrating my 21st birthday. Um, that was on the 2nd of September. Uh, so, today's great, I'm in the UK too. Texas, Romania, people from different opposite ends of the globe. Um, happy 21st, Jack, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it was really good, I had a great time. Uh, and it was quite good because it sort of split across different days because I spent my actual birthday uh, in, in the hospital, in the unit where I'm at, um, just because I had a meeting the day before and then I had a session the day after, so. Um, I thought it would be logistically easier. Thank you very much everyone for the happy birthday messages from West Yorkshire, Aberdeen as well, up and down the country. Um, but yeah, I spent the actual day in hospital and then I, um, I came back home the day after on the Thursday and I had uh, like a little gathering yesterday uh, with some family and friends which was alright. So uh, yeah. I've had a good few days, so it's good to hear that you're all okay. Uh, how many people we got? 34 people in here. Very good. Happy birthday from North Lincolnshire. Thank you very much. Let's switch over then to our desktop. So here we are for the old. Microsoft Flight Sim, California is where I'm from, nice. How's things going? Very good, Rivu, how are you? Happy B day uh, from Norton, UK. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for the happy birthday messages. Do appreciate it. Is that, oh yeah, there's actually a sign on my door. I probably gave it away before I even said anything. Uh, happy birthday banger there. So yes, uh, we're gonna be doing some Commercial aircraft, that's the word. Commercial aircraft today. We're going to start off with the A320neo, then we're going to go for the 747, and then we're going to finish on the 787. But to be honest, we're mostly going to be focusing on the A320neo, uh, simply because I've been doing a little bit of practice on that just to get used to it. Um, so we're, that's what we're going to do most of it on. But we are going to have a look at the other two as well. Um, do you have liveries for the aircraft? No, not yet. Uh, still getting used to the whole game, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so let's dive into the world map. Uh, and I'm thinking that next week we might start doing some multiplayer on here. Uh, or maybe FSX. I haven't decided yet. I'm definitely not getting rid of FSX. Which sim is everyone's main sim now? 
Well, I'm still tossing between this one and FSX right now. And I spent some time, spent some time setting up my joystick here. Now, I did do it on my other joystick first, but this one seems to have worked a bit better, uh, my old joystick. So I'm, we're going to roll with this one for today. But I still couldn't get the um, the thrust right. It, it doesn't seem to work properly. Um, so I might just have to use key commands for thrust. Uh, I can't seem to get that program correctly. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or anything like that. But uh, yeah, we'll roll with that. And uh, I've got my new merchandise on today. You can just about see that. So this is the uh, flying high design. So last week I was wearing, so two weeks ago I was wearing the radar control design. So this is the flying high design. Comes in loads of different colors. So this one's sort of like, a, I think it's called Ash. Uh, like a, just an off-white uh, hoodie. So there's loads of different colors. You can get it in blue, red, and green, and whatever you want. Uh, black and everything. Alec Gibbs, happy 21st Jack. Thank you very much, Alec. Love the sweatshirt, thank you very much. Uh, they are available to buy, of course, uh, on the store. There should be a um, link in the description uh, to my website, at least. I'm still trying to get my membership sorted out, so bear with me on that one. I'm still working on that in the week. Um, but yeah, I'll try and send you, let me get your direct link, actually, in case anyone would like to a look. I'll get you a direct link. There is a direct link on my website. That's not direct from here, is it? Um, 37 people in here now. Thank you very much, guys, for joining. So let's have a look. Storefronts. JFB.TV store. There it is. So there is the link to my merchandise store. There's not just hoodies on there. There's t-shirts phone cases and stickers on there as well uh, and then through my own website jfe.tv you can also buy the pens, mugs and badges so they're, they're through there. But yeah there's uh, four different designs so like I said I was wearing the radar control one in fact I'll just show you quickly um, where is it this one uh, in this one in this color I was wearing so this is a standard college hoodie um, that's what I was wearing last week, and then I'm wearing this one this week. So there, the designs, radar control, flying high, and then the other one is cleared to land, this design. Uh, but like I said, you can click on here, onto different ones, like if you just think, oh, I don't like that blue, you can change it up for, oops, you can change it up for white, or black, or gray, even a bright yellow. Uh, so, there's different ones, but different. Uh, let me try and find a different example. So different items will have different color availabilities. Like this one, they have loads of colors there. Look, like you got pink and uh, like a, a charcoal and light blue, red, orange, navy, purple. So I'll leave that down to you to have a little gander through what you want to look at. And then right at the bottom, we have the original design with just my logo. Exactly the same stuff, just different design. Awesome video, huge thank, fan of yours, thank you very much. Uh, so, back to the sim. This is what we're starting off on today. So this is the Airbus A320 Neo. And later on, we will then move on oops, to this one, the 747. 8 Intercontinental and the 787-10 Dreamline Killer. So, exciting stuff to go because we're going on to the big stuff. The big boys. So, we're going to go somewhere quite quiet, I think. So, I usually go for this, go to like Luton or something. Um, somewhere that doesn't have a lot of buildings and traffic and stuff like that. So, uh, oh, that's cool. It looks like it puts a. Uh, a ring for you to tell you what the maximum range is for this aircraft. Didn't notice that last time. What's that? Hungarian Parliament. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Didn't, didn't notice that last time. But we're not going anywhere and we're going to set up flight conditions for clear skies. Uh, and we're going to have a look. So let's see how this goes. 
And there will be a giveaway later as well. I forgot to mention that. There will be a giveaway. Um, oh, I didn't post my Facebook. That one. So there will be a giveaway uh, for some JFV pens, so stick around for that. We'll do that maybe in between one of the aircrafts, after, either after the A320 or the after the 747. And then we might do a bonus one again. Oh my god, you're back. Great to see you doing well. Thank you very much. Trying to be an... Oh, I can't say that. Otaku, Ota whatever that is. Um, yes, I'm back. Uh, I did my first live stream a couple weeks ago. Hope you're doing all right. So if you are just joining us, like this guy is, we are just loading in an A320 Neo at Stansted Airport in the UK. Always takes a while though, this new game. Well, I'm not surprised to be honest with you, the amount of uh, stuff it has to load in. Hello, this is my first stream I've got to. Wow, welcome, Aviation Alex. You're in for a treat. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you are. Yeah, so uh, I intend to do these live streams every Sunday now, like I did before, uh, before I went into hospital. So they will be back to Sunday live streams. I did intend to do them last week, one in last week, but it. Um, I had to. Sorry, I had to uh, cancel it at the last minute because Microsoft FS. Uh, was just not working at all for me, uh, so I thought it would be better actually if I just take a week off, learn it a bit more, what I'm doing with everything, and uh, come back next week. So I will be here same time, same place next week, so you can mark that in your calendar. Every week I'll be here, more or less. Uh, it might be the odd time on my holiday or something, but pretty much it'll be back to usual every Sunday. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I have no idea how to pronounce your name because it's not even in English. Uh, Specs Aviation Alex. They are on my website. Uh, the link to that is in the description. If you scroll down on the description, you'll find my. It would say website. Website FAQ Specs. So it's obviously on the Specs one. I'm uh, GA on MSFS. Yeah, uh, I did. I did like them, but I think we're we're ready to upgrade. Yeah. Well, I don't know about ready, but <laughs> I'm sure you just you guys uh, are dying to see them. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, no more general aviation. Thank you, Thomas, for linking that. Um, all right, we're almost there. Almost there. Just a two percent to go. Luton Tower Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree 2 well, Zero ready at runway 25 no departing straight out. But it was an update for Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree 2 Zero cleared for takeoff runway 25 departing straight out approved. So, uh, cleared for so takeoff runway 25 Airbus Tree 2 Zero. Good to see you again, Thomas. I'm still blown away at these graphics. Every time I come on here, every single time I'm just blown away. So, we are on the runway. So, see, it still just feels a little bit laggy, a little bit glitchy. I'm not sure, you know, it just doesn't feel quite smooth. Like when I'm moving the camera there, for example, it doesn't feel quite as smooth as FSX. And that's saying something, considering, you know, by today's standards, FSX is a terrible game in terms of graphics and quality. Um, it's a good game, but in terms of, you know, when you compare it to a game like this, obviously this just blows out of water. But it's still, you know, just on the FPS and the graphics and things like that, it's still just, I don't think, is, you know, um, So, let's disengage the old park brake. Let's jump back into the cockpit. So I've got everything programmed. Now, the thing that doesn't work, though, this is what I was telling you before, was the throttle. So, I've uh, been getting used to the uh, auto-pilot as well. I didn't get the speed. Turning off V-Sync gives a boost in G uh, 
But yeah, this, uh, the thought quadrant, so let me move it up to say 50%, doesn't do anything, up to 100%, Easy two, four, four, zero, zero, clear, but I know it's broken, two, five. Wind so, two, seven, two, entry. yeah, I don't know, clear to land, uh, way two, I don't know, I think they turned off the quadrant because they were glitching about as well, uh, it's in the general area of settings. Have a look. What is it called again? V-Sync. Let's try that. Let's turn that off then. What What does that even do then, Rivu? Do you know? Right, flying safe. Let's see if that does any difference. So, let's go back out. Let's try that. I don't know, but we'll leave it off for now. I read something online actually about getting rid of your uh somewhere. Easy two four four zero go around. Checklist Going around easy two four four zero about you get rid of this. Easy two four four zero contact London Center on one one eight decimal four seven five. Small as you possibly can. London Tower with air two eight seven nine or eight miles east inbound ILS runway two five approach. With air two eight seven nine or London Tower. I read that. Clear ILS runway two five approach. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two wind two seven two at three. With air two eight seven nine or clear to land runway two five. Okay, we'll Wind 272 entry. Hello there, hello, PewDiePie topic. Uh, hello, Mr. Clear to land runway 25 right, let's go. Uh, let's set up the 118 decimal 475 easy so, 2440. Uh, let's stay low for now so we can see some of the scenery as we go. Today. It might be something that I'm just obviously missing. Um, that you guys will probably let me know. Oh my god, what happened there? I just. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> I just saw it like a man just standing outside. Um, so. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. 
optimizing further for the stream, yeah, maybe. I might have to reduce some of it down a bit because we are streaming as well. Right, let's go. Let's um, put our flaps out, if I remember my key commands. Is that right? Oh, it's already out one. Okay. Wind there, Joe 879 are all around. Off. Too much now. Um, right, so we've, it's, it is doing a lot better up here. Look, it's much smoother up here, obviously, because it's got far less. Okay, maybe not there. Okay, it's, no, never mind. It's just gone again. <laughs> right, let's just get all of our autopilot on then. So, autopilot one. I'm gonna put. Oh my God, why is it moving so much? Right. I think that's it. So that's good. Is sure it's not too quiet? Because I did put it down quite a lot there. Let me know if it's too quiet. What's happened? Oh, we just froze. Why are we banking like that? <laughs> oh my god, this game, this game. All right, let's just put this back up. Let's put that up to seven so that it at least has a chance. We are nose diving towards the ground. I'm going to have to take it off to the pilot. <laughs> okay, and it's just crashed. Oh, I crashed. Okay, that's that's different. That's different. I crashed. Are we going to have a nice landing too? Uh, that will be the aim, yeah. If this autopilot will even turn on. Like I said, this is the aircraft that being, uh, like, I did a little practicing on a few days ago, and it's working fine, except the speed thing, the auto throttle. It's all right, let's just load it in, go again. Hopefully this time we won't veer off the wrong way. But that's what this new game is. It's a learning curve, isn't it? So, A320 goes on a rampage across the UK. Pilot blames FS2020. Yes, I do, because that's the game I'm playing. Hello, I'm new. What's your PC? Please reply. It's in Alienware Area 51. If you want the full specs, there's a link to them in the description. Um, JFB.tv forward slash tech. But thank you very much for joining us. Oh, I haven't looked at the likes yet today, have we? How many likes we got? 46 likes. Beautiful. I think your rugged input may be locked left since you veered off the runway left and you also... Why is that gone? Uh, and you also banked left out of control. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but... 
I don't know. I haven't got my... Uh, like, the rudder looks fine there. And it looks fine out the back here. Um, I don't know. Let's just try that again. So, what we got? Flaps already out. So, this time I'm going to move my joystick slightly to the right. Uh, hold on, let me get rid of this. I'm going to move my joystick slightly to the right as we increase throttle. Love from Nepal, thank you very much. Will this game run in an Acer Nitro 5 i727 game? I have no idea. Uh, I at least need to know your GPU. Have you done a face reveal before? Oh yes, 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 yes. Many, many years ago. I, I used to do live streams every week with a face cam. Uh, so, yeah, nothing new on the old face. Right, that's better. I'm putting a little bit of strain on the right to keep it centre. Um, so hopefully we'll have a smoother takeoff this time. Oh, it's actually quite hard to keep it centre. What is that plane doing in front of us? That's worse than me. It's his nose diving it. I like how the runways aren't flat as well. Even that detail that they've put in. Uh, it's got actual curvature. Right. We're up. Gear in. We'll just put our flaps in now. So, we'll keep it manual for a second again. Whilst we're on our line. See, it is banking left when I let go, you see. I'm not new, but I've been subscribed to you since three years when you did FSX videos. Wow, a long term subscriber there. Right. We're getting the hang of it. Let's jump back inside. I keep going to press F9, but I don't think it's programmed right now anymore, is it? So, 5,000 feet. Turn that on. Turn, excuse me, turn that on. Let's reduce our throttle down. Oh, that's quite a lot. Oh my god, you cannot control this throttle. Um, see, it's just banking to the right again. What's it doing, honestly? Let's keep it on autopilot, will you? It's not, it's not staying on autopilot because it thinks I'm turning to the left. That's why it won't stay on autopilot. So obviously something is locked. Either the rudder or the ailerons. Something must be locked to the left. Because, look, if I engage autopilot and just let go, it disengages. Because it's starting to turn left. Because that's what this aircraft does. If autopilot is engaged and you take over manual control, it automatically disengages autopilot. So something must be doing that. Let's have a look on the outside, see what's... I feel like we should climb a bit, though, <laughs> just in case we... It decides to nosedive. Right, I'm going to let go of controls now. So it's just banking to the left. Rudder looks fine, ailerons look fine. So I'm not sure what on earth that is. I might just have to fly the whole thing manually. Checking control settings, and you can see the axis calibration. All right, let's have a look. Because something's doing it. Uh, what is this? A sign? I have a sign more than that. I hope I have. Aye, right, look at that. It is as well. Look, that's just it on normal. And it is banking about 25% left. Why is that? Let's try that. Just redoing it. No, it's not having it. It's still on the left. Yeah, the problem is indeed. <laughs> yeah, see, it's just... I can't... Keep it straight. 
That is rather annoying. Let's see. Now, the th problem is here then, is that my other joystick. Love from India, bro. And I want to know if you play FPS games. Uh, no, I don't. And love from the UK. So, right, let me just try plugging in my other joystick. Right, this one. So maybe we can use a combination. Because I haven't set up the rest of the commands on that one, let's see if we can use a combination of things. So let's get rid of the control surfaces on here. Get rid of the control surfaces on here. And then we can use this one. That looks like it's already set up. That's much better, isn't it? <laughs> that is much better. Right, let's try that then. Good news is that we don't have to restart the game to do that. Or the flight, even. Right, that's saved, yeah. Let's resume. Oh, look at that. Much better. Much, much, much better. Oh, see now I can't <laughs> My hat switch isn't programmed on that. All it does is that <laughs> on my hat switch. So I still have to use my hat switch on my other one. God, this is complicated now. But yeah, we figured out the problem. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to actually into FPS like Apex like using aviation football stuff. That's nice. That's nice. It's cool. I actually have to be sleeping now, but saw Jack going live, so I had to hop in. Fair play. You can't miss one of these live streams, can you? Right, let's jump back inside then. I'm trying to use two joysticks at once. Let's stick that on. Increase that up. To 8,000. And then... Hegging... Let's just leave it on what we're on. Ooh. Oh my gosh, come on, there you go. So, yeah, the speed thing wasn't working last time, and I think it's a glitch, to be honest. Let's just put it on 300. I know, you know, we're below 10,000, but let's just try that. Um, and see if it does it. So, oh, oh. Oh, okay, this is uh, like different views in your cockpit and stuff. All right, I got you. I got you. Um, hey Jack, how is it going? Remember me? I do K K V K V. However, you say your name. Eighty-four percent, but I don't think that's being controlled by auto throttle, is it? Yeah, because we're actually losing speed. So this thing just doesn't work. No matter how many times I've tried to engage it. It just does not have it. And auto throttle is on. I've, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, got to go, bro. Have a good fun flight. Good night. Thank you very much, Akash. Really appreciate you dropping by. Um, yeah, so if someone can tell me what's going on with the throttle, because everything else in the autopilot is working fine. Uh, then I would appreciate that. Manuscript, why is this not working now? That's, there we go, that's working. I'd like to go back later. Thank you, Flying Bird. And we still got Thomas here. Oh, God, you need to do that. Still got Thomas here. Um, we've got Yosef, haven't we? Right, let's have another jump outside, have another look. Oh my God, I keep using the wrong thing. Oh, what airport's that? Have you got autocross on? Yeah, autocross is on. 
How is the game compared to, compared to FSS? Better or still needs finishing touches? It is overall much better, but it definitely still needs finishing touches. Definitely. There are just quite a lot of glitches. The FPS isn't as smooth as it should be, especially for the spec of computer that I've got. And I have tried it on lower spec as well. Um, yeah, it, it does need some finishing touches, some cleaning up in some of the graphics, but the vast majority, like 98% of them, is amazing. Yeah, so... What are we at? Oh, 255. Is it working now? Oh, it's working now. We've got it working. <laughs> they must have fixed that from last time. Maybe that was part of that 87 kilobyte download that I did today. Maybe. So, it's all working. Um, yeah. Everything's good, basically. For this one. Uh, let's try uh, climbing up then a little bit. Seeing how this manages it. Let's go, I don't know. 32,000. Why is that not having it? Come on. Is it gonna do it? Yeah, it's getting it. Yeah, some things are still a little bit glitchy, I feel. Uh. Right, so we're climbing up. Let's have a look at how this thing climbs. Beautifully, I think. It's fair to say. I love the winglets on this here. Ah, oh, there's an airport right there. Maybe we can land there. Oh, that's Luton. <laughs> We've come all the way back around. Um, yeah, we're going to be spending most of the time in this aircraft. We're only going to have a quick take off and look around in the other two. Um, that's why we're spending so much time on this one. We might do the giveaway, uh, first giveaway after this as well. 51 likes now. Thank you so much, guys. If you haven't liked, uh, clicked the like button already, then please do. I hope you appreciate it. And remember, you can always send in a super chat using the little dollar sign uh, below your chat. Really appreciate that. And then your name will be up there. <laughs> where, well, you know, where there's two people's names and the dollars, uh, how much they've donated. So the latest donation always goes on the bottom, and then the highest donation of all time always goes on the top. Um, so your name will at least go up on the bottom. Uh, so I would appreciate that. How are you going to give away? How am I going to give away? Uh, well, as they're pens, they'll be posted. Honestly, this game, I love it. Once you, once you know how things work, they're very good, aren't they? Nice to see you back again, Jack. Dang A. Thank you very much, Dang A. It's good to see you joining us. Right, let's jump back inside. Uh, now, obviously, we're well above 10,000. Oh, no, that's not the button I wanted to press. So let's increase our throttle up to say, let's go for 310 or something. That'll probably be maxed. Um, and let's turn this thing around. Let's turn this damn thing around. Uh, see if we can find looting again. Because I've got my VFR map minimized. God, these dials are so slow, aren't they? Although, to be honest, I actually prefer them compared to uh, the FSX ones that would just jump without warning, like 50 numbers. Unbeatable fuel efficiency. They got their little app there. Wow, I mean, honestly. Good time of day for a flight as well. 
because this is live um, time. It's not live weather, but it's live time. So that is literally where the sun is <laughs> right now in the UK, or at least above Luton. It's not above here. It's gone cloudy now. I actually, I'm not even joking. Sometimes I look at that and I actually think like I'm on a plane. I know how stupid that sounds, but it just, honestly, it does have that feel of it, like that haze on the horizon, you know? Like, if, you, if you've if you been in a plane, I think you'll know what I mean. Like, that sort of hazy look, uh, and obviously just such sharp graphics. It does look great. So, yeah, we've gone up to 320. Would you like to do a group flight on MSFS? Uh, yeah, same as uh, uh, what Thomas has just said. It will be coming. It will be coming. Patience. I am really looking forward, though, to getting onto multiplayer on this game. I think it's going to be so good. I'd like you to see another little aircraft there. Although it looks like a pixel. <laughs> it's just a box and another box. That... See, these are the sort of things that need tidying up. Like, I can see a green uh, light and a red, obviously for both wings. So, things like that. But they're literally just boxes. I don't know if you can see that on your screen, might be too small. But they are literally just boxes. You know, so things like that need to be tidied up. Little touches that Microsoft, I think, need to do. Right, what's that there? That is an airport. Believe it or not. We start descending. I mean, we're just having a look at it, so we don't need to get all the way up there. Alright, let's bring that right down to 2,000. Bring that right down to the minuses. Let's, we're going to put it on quite high so we can get down quick. Did you just take off or are you going to land? Uh, no, we're going to be landing now. Uh, it took off quite a while ago, so we're going to be landing now. Hopefully, at the airport that I've just lost. Where's it gone? Have we just flown past it? I've been blind, or what? We literally just saw it. There's Cranfield. Where's Luton? Not be to whatever it was. I don't know. We'll just send and we'll find a we'll, we'll find any tarmac uh, runway to land on. I'm not bothered. But it will be my first landing in this plane. Uh, I've never landed in this aircraft before, or any commercial aircraft on uh, on uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Only on FSX, obviously. But graphics. Somewhat different. Let's bring it right down to 200 knots. Right, let's just stay inside the cockpit and I'll bring out my. This thing so awkward. There we go. All right, here's our little map. I won't put it there because you can't see it now. We gotta go this side. Right. Why can't we zoom out on this map? Oh yeah, obviously GPS tracking. Why can't we? Oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah, I've got plenty of airports. Why has that got across? Gatwick. This is quite a cool map, <laughs> at least. Oh, we've not, uh, we're not, there we go. We're not paying attention to our speed there. Or our altitude, because we're still at climbing. Alright, we are going to literally dive down. Dive 
dive, dive, dive. Just getting used to things. Okay. Have you played trade sim before? Uh, once, but I couldn't really get on with it. But yeah. Maybe something to play in the future, you know, just for myself. We shall see. 55 likes, yeah. Still going up. Hello, hello. Right, we, we probably need to, like, dive this plane. Not literally, but like, towards the ground. <laughs> if we're going to land any time soon. Just conscious of trying to uh, make sure that we get enough time for both of the other two commercial aircraft. Uh, what are these things on here? Why? It looks like a no entry sign. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's just the airstrip. It looks like. <laughs> it actually looks like a no entry. Right. There's plenty of waypoints around here. Where are we going to land? There's an airport right in front of us, but we're nowhere near going to make it for that. Ah! We could go for London. Uh, sorry, for Heathrow. But I feel like that is going to have a big impact on the FPS while I'm still working out the best settings. Um, oh, I keep using the thing. Right, why is that doing that again? 200 engage selective airspeed mode yeah but it's still hovering at an obscene toggle so it doesn't seem to be fully working yet yeah? I'll tell you that but yeah we're going to try and land somewhere maybe Gatwick that might be a good one to go to or EGY J, whatever that is. Oh, why is that getting that? So we're just uh, sort of currently uh, nose diving. So that we can just get to the landing as quick as possible. Uh, but yeah, he throws over on our left, isn't it? We've just passed it. There it is. You know, you can't miss Heathrow. You can see it from space. It's bigger than most towns. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Oh, we don't think we're going to make that, obviously, but there's one in front of us here. But again, we're not going to make that. So, I'm thinking maybe we'll just go head over to EGKK, Gatwick. If I'm being honest, that is what I'm thinking. Let's at least head towards that direction. Again, we're doing all this VFR, so we've got to make the turns ourselves. Well, with the help of a sophisticated computer system. 58 likes, almost at 60 then. Very almost. Making this turn slowly over towards Gatwick. Yeah, we'll definitely head for Gatwick. I think by the time we get down to that altitude and stuff, that will be appropriate. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, throttle still at zero, because we are nose diving it. Right, we'll stay on this course for a little bit, then we'll make another left turn. Very soon. And then, once we are on the ground, we'll do our first giveaway. For JFD Pen. And then do the old, what's it called? 747. Oh, we've got another plane in front of us. Let's see if we can see it. Might be. 
Over speed. 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 Would you rather play Over Flight Sim 2020 forever, Over but speed. only 10 FPS, Over or speed. play FSX at 240 FPS? Speed. Definitely FSX. Over speed. Definitely. Over speed. Oh, speed. Jesus. Over speed. There's the plane. Over speed. Or a plane, right in Over front of us. That must be heading in for... Um... Over speed. Over speed. Oh, I was going to say Gatwick, Over but if that is... Uh... Over speed. Over no, it is Gatwick, yeah. Over you better turn. <laughs> Turnover. We're not using ATC, obviously, as you can probably tell. Let's uh, rest that up a bit. So sad that uh, MFS doesn't run on my PC. Yeah, it's definitely a, a quite demanding game, obviously. But right, Zaga, I think we can see it. Dagger head. So we are doing this VFR. Once I've definitely confirmed that is the wrong way, I'll get rid of this map in a moment. Yeah, don't worry, our speed is going down. Right, I want to get this thing working. Because that will be very useful on approach. Just take over manual control in a minute. Butter! <laughs> really don't get your hopes up. Like I said, this is my first landing on a commercial. So, let's do this completely manual. Bring out the flaps there. Gear can come down now. Here we go. Hopefully that plane's not near us. Oh, it's over. It's right there. <laughs> wow, look at that for a shot. Honestly. Let me take a screenshot there. That's it. Alright. Bring those flaps out. Flaps, flaps, flaps. Oh, what's happening there? See, oh, see you know, this is where things are going to go tricky because I've got to, I don't know what percentage my throttle is at. Flaps are at full now. I've got to try and look at my throttle <laughs> quadrant as I'm looking at the runway. I don't know why my rudders are moving about like that. I'm just looking for a smooth landing here, nothing more. Coming in a bit steep. Why is that rudder moving? I'm not even touching it. Oh my god, oh my god, that is so hard. Oh my god, <laughs> that is shocking. I don't think we're even on the runway. No, we're not. <laughs> There's that other plane, A380. That was shocking, guys. I mean, the actual touchdown weren't too bad. <laughs> but... 
What is going on? What is going on, guys? Why is that moving? What is the... What are these planes doing? Look, there's another one. What is going on? I feel like I'm in an FSX multiplayer server. Bloody hell. Why are there planes just coming out left, right and centre? Look at that. What? This cannot be AI traffic. What in God's name is this game? Yeah. Honestly, what is going on there? Yeah, so obviously I still need some... Uh, I thought I brought my claps in. I still need some experience in the old... Um, A320. Which is why I'm not landing the other two. Because I had zero experience in that. Uh, let's just stop that here. Okay. Keep pressing on. I did find that airlines and MFSS were bad to handle. Yeah, they, they do. They are. Like, I don't know what my rudder was doing. It's going left, right, left, right. And then it was veered right. Um, yeah. Gatwick. Don't look bad. That A380 has just disappeared. What is this game? I feel like this is going to turn into another FSX game. You know, like, all the memes that people make about FSX. And how there's so many glitches in it. It's just like FSX logic. I feel like this is going to end up like that again. If... Microsoft don't sort out these really, really basic issues. Like, why are there aircraft, for example, AI aircraft, landing on the same runway in opposite directions? I had an A380 landing down here, and I didn't see what the other one was. But there was another one, a green or a yellow one, coming in this way. And another one just appeared here, like that one. <laughs> like, why are they just... I don't know what to tell you guys. But there you have it. Right, let's do a giveaway whilst I load up this next aircraft. It's better than the Cajun Crest and Donuts. Yeah, they did that a lot, didn't they? Oh, God. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Hello, uh, KevC4. Welcome to the stream. 60 likes, didn't realise that, sorry, we just hit that. Oh my god. Seriously. Microsoft need to sort out... Uh, Microsoft need to sort out some... Serious issues with their, with their games. <laughs> Honestly. Right, let me just get this giveaway up. Giveaway form, even. Let's select our next one, the 747. The only commercial jet that's been carried over from FSX. Well, this is the 7478, the other one I think was 7474, wasn't it? Uh, right, departure. Let's go somewhere new. Uh, where shall we go? I want something quite small again, obviously. Obviously. Let's go to Manchester. Why not? Uh, flight conditions. We're just going to bring it a bit earlier on the day. Just so it's nice and bright. And here, this sort of thing here, they need to sort out. Like, why is this map so blurry? Like, I pay £110 for this game. I can get better map quality on Google Maps. Like... Why is it so blurry like that? Look at it. The more I go in. And then I get that it turns obviously to a grey map, like a aviation map, but this it's the same resolution from here to here, which is shocking. Like <laughs> Like yeah, if you're gonna turn it grey, fine. But at least as I zoom in, increase the resolution as well. So increase the resolution as it's turning grey. 
Like, because when I'm at this level, which I'm at quite a lot, it just looks terrible. It's such bad quality. Right, let's launch that up while I get this giveaway form up and about. Okay, here is the form. You'll need to sign into Google to make sure that people only enter once. So enter your YouTube name and YouTube URL on on that form, and you'll be you'll be. Oh, River, yeah, you can be a mod, definitely. You're, I know you from the network, obviously. So, yeah. So, yeah, the form doesn't work. Oh, have I not turned it on? There we go. Yeah, it should work. Uh, yeah, so enter your thing in there. Uh, enter your YouTube name and YouTube URL. And I'll enter you into the giveaway. We're going to use the cool wheel. Uh... If I can find it again, I always I can I never save the page. I always have to look it up. Uh, what's it called? Uh, random game picker or something. Yeah, this is the one. So we're going to use the famous wheel. So <laughs> I know you guys love this thing. Manchester Tower Not, going out this year. Here we go. So we're getting our names in now. So NT name in there. Obviously we haven't got uh, as nearly as many people as we did on the uh, you know, welcome back stream. So you'll have a much better chance of getting in basically. So it's completely free to enter. Hello, hello, Emir. What is it? It's a JFE pen. If I've got one, I never have one out, do I? Because I'm so prepared. Let me go and grab one. These are the pens, I've got hundreds of them. And you'll get, so you'll get one of these pens. That way around, there it is. Jack's FS Videos pen, it's a black ink pen. Fine as well. Uh, and you'll get one of these embossed cards. Focus, there we go. One of these embossed cards as well, with a signed personalised message on the back. So I'm going to give away a few of these. Um, we'll give away two now and then maybe one or two later on. How's our... Oh, we're ready there, so hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Uh, so it's free to enter, completely free to enter. I still have a pen from Network years ago. It's probably out of date. We've got new ones now. Finally made it in. Welcome, CS Aviation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. Because I don't think you were here last on the last stream, were you? So it's good to see you. Uh, I've got one. Another one there. Okay, so whack all that in, and we'll get going. I think we'll do it in just a second. Anyone else? Last chance. 
Okay, let's do it. So we'll give away two pens now. Get set up straight for this. How do you enter? Okay, quickly, enter with the link. Let me send it again. Oh, where's it going? That's the link to enter. Hi, Jack. Hello, VXRII. Oh my god, we've been thrown in. Uh, I'll give this guy a chance to quickly enter if he wants to. Yeah, he's just come on. There we go. Whack him in. Okay, and that is it. It is now closed. So, here we go. First pen. Let me know if that's too loud, because it is very loud. Trust me. <laughs> Wes Collins, congratulations. You have won the first pen. Pen. So if you win, remember you can message me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all the usual social medias. Links to those are in the description. Uh, and then I'll get that verified, make sure it's the you. And uh, yeah, send it off. So we're going to do one more now and then we'll do another one or two later on. Here we go. VXRII. Ah, so you've just got in at the end there. So that was very lucky. Uh, so well done to you as well. So, uh, yeah, claim it the usual way using my socials. Links to those are in the description. But it's 63 likes now as well. So thank you very much for that. Over 30 people in here. Uh, so well done. So I'll leave all your names there um, for the stream later on. Uh, so I'll just minimize that and leave all those there. Sorry for the giveaway later on is what I meant to say there. So well done to you two. And we'll do I th we'll do another two because I'm feeling generous. We'll do one after this and then one after the next aircraft. So we're just we're not going to spend a lot of time on this though. There it is. The jumbo jet. The queen of the skies. In all her might and glory. Who has now been unfortunately discontinued. Bad timing for Microsoft unfortunately. That they've uh, discontinued that. Uh, I think it was... Was it after the game came out? Like literally just after, a few days after? Or was it just before? Wow, look at this. This is uh, this is Manchester, eh? Manchester Airport. Never been here either, but looks like nice surroundings. A lot of trees at least. Um, but yeah. Fear not, there is more to come. Yeah, definitely more giveaways to come. Uh, I don't do my Steam gift card giveaways every week. Um, I do those... Up I used to do them every month, so I do a live stream every week and then a pen giveaway every week, but a Steam gift card only every month. So uh, I'll probably continue something similar like that. I might do one next week though. So you never know. You never know. I always do these random giveaways. So uh, you know, make sure you're here next week for your, for the live stream, and uh, we can we can you know see what's going to be giving out so looks pretty accurate on the inside at least uh, compared to FSX 747 uh, now like I said I've not used this at all I okay <laughs> FSX logic right there and look at that it's veering off the wrong way like I did this earlier oh god right let's put our lights on actually are we on Yes, we're on. Okay. What choice did you have? Couldn't find it on the hardware specs peripherals. Yeah, because I wouldn't recommend them. That's why I didn't put them on there. Uh, so I've got this Black Widow one, which is my original joystick. And then I bought this Thrustmaster one, uh, which I'm having to use both right now due to some issues with the key commands and, sorry, the um, mapping stuff, whatever it is. Anyway. Um, so yeah, let's see. Do you have any new deliver uh, deliveries to showcase? Not yet, not yet. In the skeleton, the last seven for seven was delivered yesterday. Was it? Wow. Uh, so yeah, I I do intend to get some new ones. I think I'm gonna get the Logitech uh, Logitech ones. They look really good. Um, 
I think I'm going to do that. Make the investment. It's long overdue that I've needed to buy some. Plus, I've just had my birthday, so I've got cash to spend. Um, Microsoft confirmed your tweet that the multiplayer feature will be fixed in the coming weeks, so just don't look at them. <laughs> what, all the AI do you mean? Not the multiplayer. I haven't tried multiplayer. I'm assuming, assuming you mean all the AI aircraft that just fly wherever they like. There is, I think, I thought I just saw one. Oh, I like this map. Look at that. The map of the airport. Anyway, let's go. Let's put our flaps. Oh, no, not 20. 10 is fine. Thank you. Actually, 5 is even better. Um, what am I doing? Okay. Is that working now? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually working now. Okay. On my uh, HOTUS joystick. So, let's stay inside the cockpit for takeoff. And Rudder's working on this as well. So this is the joystick to use. Well, I can definitely feel much higher up on the... Uh, why is it lifting off on its own? Not yet, thank you. Oh my god, now it's going everywhere. Let's just get off. I feel like there's crosswinds or something. That's, I feel like I'm getting thrown about. Right, we are up. Let's go from external view for the gear. First takeoff in the 747. AI feature not going to play, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not great at all. Uh, it wasn't here. I wasn't here, did you land? Yeah, I landed the A320. Uh, let's say it was butter. Yeah, guys, it was butter. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Now we're on the 747. I'm not going to land this though, simply because I've had zero experience on that, on this. So God knows what that would be like. Although to be honest, it actually feels easier to handle than the A320. Well, I'm not joking. It actually feels more like FSX than this aircraft. Which I don't mean that as like a good or bad thing. I just mean it's the same as what I'm used to. FSX is, FSX is obviously the aircraft that I'm used to. So yeah. Side. Flaps I've repeatedly put at zero, so I don't know why that's not been doing it. Boeing 747, did you copy? Um, very clear displays as well, though. So I'm glad they put their work into that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad the throttle's working then at least. At least it is on this aircraft. Maybe it's the, just the A320 that's not working, but this one's working fine. Absolutely fine. Must be just the A320 that needs Boeing some uh, some tweaking, perhaps. Some tweaking. Nighttime flying is stunning over the city. Let's do nighttime flying for the 787 because I've not done that yet. I've not done that at all any nighttime flying. So let's do that when we do the 787. 65 likes. Can we hit 70, guys? 70 likes would be amazing. Wow, I will miss this aircraft. When it eventually gets whittled down. Obviously, you know, They'll still be in service for a little bit of time for a lot of airlines, although British Airways have announced that they're retiring their entire 747 fleet. And that's a huge deal for them because I think that is their largest uh, aircraft. The, like They've got more 747s than any others, I think. If not, their triple sevens might be next. Um, but yeah, that, that, that would be a shame to see those go. So that's a big deal for BA. Obviously, the whole flight industry is in... Uh, pretty much chaos right now. If, uh, that's struggling. But yeah, I like it. I think we're ready to head on over to the 787. I don't know about you guys. 
but that is the one that I'm most excited for. Like, I mean, honestly, look at it, it's just beautiful. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong cat switch. Look at that, I mean, honestly, this aircraft. It just flies beautifully. No other way to put it. Honestly, I can't get over it. I accidentally bought people against the FS 2020. Well done, me. Really? How on earth do you make that mistake? They're not even the same company. Wow. Boeing uh, forgets 747s will be around until 2025 at the earliest. Yeah, that's sort of the range that I would put it at. Um, especially, as you say, the last one was delivered yesterday, so that actually would, you know, that would have a long lifespan, actually, if they're brand new. Temple sounds last years, decades, some of them. I thought P3D was a good idea. Oh, right, I see. It wasn't like an accident, as in you got mixed up. It was an accident, as in you thought that was the sim that you wanted. Wow. Big mistake there, my friend. Yeah, uh, it's a good game, P3D still, but yeah, I think this is going to be the. <laughs> oh, I just cannot get over this aircraft. It looks beautiful. It looks stunning. Right, I need to go before I keep looking at that. So let's get head on to the 787. Oh, let's do the other giveaway first. Um and then we'll then we'll do the 787. When Payware stuff comes out, I'll be happy. I think a lot of it still is on, uh, sorry, a lot of it is, has come out on MSFS. Immediate regret. You also bought the 787? Oh, you're in deep now. You've, you've committed to P3D if you start buying add-ons as well. If you want to go back, you can, it'd have to be now, I think. Right. Let's go somewhere at night time. So let's go from. Is there any decent airports up here? The old Scotland. Let's go somewhere else in the world. Let's go over to America or. Where else? Ooh. It's hard because you know all the major airports, but I'm trying to avoid them. <laughs> I know less major airports. In the UK, but not anywhere else. Let's go for Salt Lake City. I don't think that's too big, is it? What's it got? Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just skip the UK for now because I know the UK, so I know what what's going on. You know, let's go for Edinburgh. Set departure. Uh, flight condition. So we're going to go for the dead of night, midnight almost. Wellington, New Zealand, Tokyo, Delhi. Yeah, I don't want to go for anywhere too big, so we're just going to skip for this. Uh, but definitely when I'm doing multiplayer, I think I'll definitely take your guys' suggestions for where to go to and from. Um, but yeah. So let's load that up. And in the meantime, we're going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to open it again in case anyone else wants to get their name in. But I'm not sure that if there will be anyone new because uh, we've stayed at sort of the same around just over 30 so I'm not sure but I'll open it just in case uh, anyone else wants to enter the giveaway so it's the same giveaway so if you've already entered you don't need to again in fact it won't let you um, so yeah enter if you like made it this time oh yeah I got you Now let me whack this on. So who was it? That person won and that person. Both at the bottom. That's odd. That's almost suspicious. Enter, enter, enter. If you haven't already. Um, so yeah. 
We're going to do one giveaway now. We'll then do the 787 at night time over Edinburgh. Do another giveaway. Uh, I'll answer any final questions that you got, and then I think we'll call it a day. So, yes. Oh, I haven't shown you guys my cool new gadget, actually, though. Uh, where's my remote? Where did I put that? Here it is. So, I might have to show you on the other camera. Um, but I have bought... Well, I haven't bought, sorry. <laughs> That's completely inaccurate. For my birthday, one of the presents that I got was a robotic vacuum. You know, some of you guys might have one of these already, but I've never had one. So, I put it on my list because I like to keep my room very clean and tidy. And I've also got an air purifier to suck out all the dust. I wipe down all my surfaces every day to get rid of dust. And previously, I hoovered and mopped my floor every day. So I thought this vacuum would be quite a good idea to at least take out the vacuuming part of this daily routine. So now then I only have to mop and wipe the surfaces uh, rather than vacuum mop and wipe the surfaces. Anyway, uh, so it does it every day at 10 a.m. on my own. I'll bring it out. Uh, so you guys can keep sending in your giveaway things uh, if you want to, if you haven't signed up already. But yeah, this was uh, one of the things I got. Let me go and move my camera. So we're going to go mobile. So let me stick that camera there and switch to it for you guys. There we are. Right, so we've got mobile here. Hopefully, it's all clear enough for you guys. I don't think this camera is the best quality, but it'll do. So let's turn it on. It's under the sofa. Here it comes somewhere. Oh, Jesus. there it is. We put it on the quiet setting. But yeah. It's pretty cool. And you can get up on the rug, which is good. Goes all around the furniture. Knows where the walls are. I can actually hear it sucking up some bits, so it's obviously... Uh, it's doing its job at least. It can't get on the end of the rug unfortunately, it can only get on the sides, but it's good enough once it figures out how to get around and stuff. But it just goes around randomly, picking up everything. Actually I think it, that's probably full. <laughs> I think that's probably what I'm hearing. Anyway, but then I can put it onto this mode. And uh, it will eventually get back onto its dock, which is under the sofa. Like I say, it can't get on the end of the carpet, unfortunately, which is quite annoying. But um, there you go. See, it works its way up some, somehow. <laughs> oh, my God. What's happened? There we go. And it finds its dock, which is just underneath, right at the back there. And it will just uh, go ahead and dock itself. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and while I'm also up here, I will show you guys quickly the new printer that I just got yesterday as well. Which is there. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Yeah. So that's the new printer in there. HP printer. Because uh, my last one broke. Um, and yeah, I've got two trays. So I keep normal paper in there and... Uh, What's it called? Uh, postage labels in there. And then it's just got all the normal scanner and everything like that. So that's all good. Oh, I've got, let me get out my water. I've got my water on my little my mini fridge here. So, uh, yeah. That's that. I'll put this back down. Come back over here. So, some cool stuff, basically. I like getting little gadgets and stuff. Um, 
to use. Sorry, I've not been reading the chat. <laughs> I've just realised. Uh, all I can hear now is a vacuum. Ah, oh, sorry, you might not have been able to hear me. Um, the robots are taking over. What should I do? Maybe. We got a Roomba vacuum years ago from the Gadget Show, but we rarely use it because it doesn't do that good of a job. It misses spots. I found this one to be pretty good, to be honest with you. I I was a bit sceptical about it, uh, but I found this one to be pretty good. Um, so it just goes off at 10 a.m. You set it for whatever time you want, and then uh, yeah, it just uh, it does its thing. Um, we could hear you. Ah, okay, that's all right then. Um, right, let's do this giveaway. So we're going to do another pen. Who built the vacuum? Uh, what, the company you mean? Uh, oh, what's it called? I've got the instructions here. Uh, Bag Bagota, Bagota, something like that. That's that's the brand of the one I've got. It's very good, actually. Um, and it gets all around the edges. But the, obviously the point is, is that it isn't as powerful and it doesn't have as much capacity, but it doesn't need those things because if you do it every day, automatically then it doesn't need to pick up as much and it doesn't need to do as good a job because there's less to pick up obviously so that's the idea behind it basically but yeah there's different brands that you can get i just got that on amazon um right let me just put my camera back before i forget hopefully that's in roughly the right place yeah it looks about right so, let's do this. Spin that wheel. See who has won this. Flappy Thingy, congratulations. You have won the JFU pen. The other giveaway. So, these, basically. Focus. You have a focus as long as you want to. Too good, but there we go. So, We'll remove your name and we'll do one more after the 787. So we'll leave all of your names up there and now we'll head in for the 787. So, yeah, so well done. Oh, here we go. Wow, this is looking uh, highly technical, isn't it? <laughs> when you compare it to, look at these huge displays, wow. This is the future of aviation, isn't it, really? Just... It's all going to be touch screen and stuff before. Like SpaceX was, wasn't it? When they sent that up to the International Space Station. It was all just screens and it was all touch screen. So, uh, this, is what, this is what the future is. Isn't it? <laughs> so, let's have a look outside at this aircraft. Lights are on, aren't they? Yeah. Done a much better job at the lighting on the ground as well. Now it actually lights up the ground. As for an FSX, it just increased the contrast, which I mean you actually could see it less when you put its lights on. But they've done a pretty good job here. Looking very nice. Um, great seeing all around. What the aircraft or my room? <laughs> oh yeah, I am going to be doing a um a room tour soon. I'm going to film that within the next few weeks. I'm just waiting for a few final things to arrive now that I've renovated the entire room. New paint, new decoration, new flooring, new carpet, uh, new monitor setup, everything like that. So I will be doing a room tour because you guys said you wanted to see that. That just took off from the grass, that plane. Um, it's because I put out a thing to see if you guys would be interested in something like that and I think the poll came back like 90% yes or something, maybe 80, uh, yeah, 80, 78%. Uh, this is the poll I put out. Again, we like to see a room tour, so most people say definitely, uh, yeah, over 90% wanted to, so. There we go. We will be, I'll be doing one of those in the next few weeks, just waiting for some final bits to arrive. Yeah, don't forget to press the like button. Come on, finish this 787, yeah. I thought you guys would probably be wanting to see this one. Uh, so let's disengage that parking brake. Uh, like I said, we're not going to use uh, autopilot on this again. Look at that aircraft over there. Don't know where that's going. So let's put that on to 50. Here we go. 
And up to 100. Back to all the air, aren't they? Wow, look at this. This game does already look really good at night. I think I'm going to like it. Why are those flaps out that much? They shouldn't be out that much. I've never used one of these. Yeah, there we go. Back down to 10. Right, we're up. Wow. Let's bring that gear in. Oh my days, it looks even better at night, I think. <laughs> Almost as good. Okay. Way better than FSA, obviously. Wow. That looks absolutely stunning. It really does. Now I'm impressed. Now I'm really impressed. Oh, let me put the flaps in. It's not doing it. Oh, that's oh, a parking brake. Why is that coming out? There we go. Alright, flaps. Still got to properly program these things, but I'm reluctant to do so if I am just going to go and get a, uh, a Logitech joystick and prop plug them. This looks amazing. You know what I think would look amazing at night? Dubai. I reckon that would be insane at night from the uh, from the ocean looking onto the city. Because that is a really high, high rise area. A lot of roads. And then you can just see it from the coast. Are you going to land with the 787? Shall I land? Shall I give it an attempt? Even though I've never flown this aircraft before. <laughs> I think we've got time. I think we've just about got time to do that. Yeah, why not? Let's land it. That actually just looks amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do Dubai next episode, uh, next live stream. Definitely going to do Dubai. Uh, I think that'll look really, really good. Joe's your joystick. Yeah, I'll show it to you earlier. It's a uh, Hotus, uh, Thrustmaster Hotus. Right, we're just going to land him in the same way so that we don't have to go all the way around. Uh, oh, let me reduce my speed. Yeah, let's land it. Look at that. You see, look. You can even see the lights shining out. That is really lovely. You can see that light just shining out of the aircraft right in front of it. See it? Beautiful. Obviously, landing lights have to scale anyway, below 10,000, so we're not going to turn those off. Right, let's do a hard turn and get this thing on the ground. Come in the opposite way, what we did. Welcome back, Jack. Thank you very much. Flyway simulation. If, if that is you guys, uh, I know some people <laughs> put on a different uh, name and stuff, but yeah, thank you very much. So, this will be this has just been my first ever takeoff in the 787. This will now be my first ever landing in the 787. Which tends to happen, you know, landings do tend to follow takeoffs at some point <laughs> in a flight. But we are going to sort of violently get this down so that we can just land it. But yeah, fingers crossed this will be better than the, than the um, 320 Neo. So we are just going to sort of nosedive this a bit so that we can just get it down. Let's uh, get back on inside. There we go. So this is us coming back in for Edinburgh. Still getting used to these physics. I don't know if you can hear my joystick creaking a bit. <laughs> Alright, where is that airport? There it is, right down in front of us. 
Let's get some flaps out. Gosh, I didn't realise it was actually that near. I thought it was a little bit further to go. Okay. Gonna have to nosedive this quite a bit. Mind blown, yeah, it really is. It's incredible. Just the detail in this game. How does the airport have how does the airport have lights? Well, all airports have lights, I hope they do. Otherwise the pilots are gonna have a tough time coming in to land. I mean obviously most of them just land uh, most of it with IFR, but <laughs> still. I think uh, you'd want that extra. I mean, you're saying after takeoff planes should land long. Yeah, they should do. I I'm hoping they do. Uh, <laughs> unless they just launch themselves off into space. How did you enable them? It's just automatic. It's just part of the game. Uh, I can see that there are aircraft landing opposite to us, but like I said, we're not worried about that. We're just practicing. Coming in. Bringing those flaps out. We can give a little bit of throttle now. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they're just automatic. Like, if, as long as you're on night time. They will be there. Right, gears coming out. Should have been out a little bit earlier. Okay, flaps are now going to full. A little bit lower. Man, honestly, I still am in awe over this. Like, even the brightness on the. Uh, PFD. Even that is perfect, you know? Not that I can say I've been in many cockpits at night, but, I, you know, uh, <laughs> it just it just feels perfect. From other sims and stuff. Right, I'm not going to look at the chat now, guys. I'm just going to concentrate on this landing. We're certainly coming in a lot better than the A320. Just going to reduce that throttle a little bit more. Level it out. Down to idle. Flare. Touchdown. Oh, bit rough there. Oh my god. Oh my, that is not butter. I got, that would obviously have to be aborted. Yeah, that was terrible. Still got to get used to that aircraft, I'm afraid. Still got to get used to that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> not quite as good there as the... Uh, as the A320, unfortunately. I think that was a really nice approach. I think you can agree with me on that, guys. I think that was a really nice approach, but yeah, just couldn't get that touchdown right. I think it's also about in those aircraft, when you're trying different aircraft, is getting used to the height of where you are in the cockpit, whereabouts the landing gear is behind you. It's about getting everything right. So um, yeah. Ryan, I will be contacting you for hiring soon. <laughs> yeah, just about maybe. All right, let's do this last giveaway then. Uh, yeah, so it's just, I just got to still get used to things like that, getting used to the height and where the landing gear is, the speed of that aircraft and everything. But yeah, it's a good approach at least. Um, so let's do this final giveaway, final pen. Uh. I don't think anyone else has entered it in the meantime. I'll put the link out there one final time just in case there's anyone new in the stream. Uh, I don't think I've been seeing anyone new. Uh, 
Uh, and remember, we will be back here same time, same place next week. Uh, oh, we're almost at 70, are we? Almost at 70 likes. That would be a good way to finish off the screen. And even 70. Well, over 70. Um, but yeah, there's the link if anyone does want to go. But like I said, I think... I don't think there is anyone added on. Uh, no. Okay. So, let's do it. Let's spin this wheel. Try and get to the 70 likes. So if you haven't already, get out of full screen mode and click like. Ben Yano, congratulations. Well done. You have won the final giveaway of the stream. So congratulations to you. Uh... That's four, isn't it? So, like I said, if we have, uh, if we have, I can't think straight. What was I about to say? I can't remember. Yeah, one more like though. Uh, almost there. Come on, guys. Let's get a round number. Get out of full screen mode and hit like on the stream. Make the button turn white, I think it does now. They constantly keep changing the colours. It used to be black, then it was... Sorry, it used to be blue, then it was black, then it was whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you want to... If you if you won a giveaway, then simply just message me on the usual places. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram. And I will get your identity confirmed. Make sure it's you. And then post it off to you. Oh, we've hit 70. There we go. Nice round number. 71 even, someone says. Nice round number. Lovely. That is what I like. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I will be here same time next week. Uh, let me switch back here. So I will be here the same time next week uh, with all the usual fun Microsoft Flight Sim stuff to happen. I'm really looking forward to learning more about this. I'm definitely going to get a new joystick. I long, long overdue. So I'm definitely going to invest in one of those. A Logitech one probably, but I'll let you know. Um, and yeah, so just thank you again for, you know, giving up your evening uh, to support me in this stream. I hope you guys have had fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be multiplayer next week on MSFS. So for a final time, thank you very much for watching. Links to my merchandise are in the description. And I really appreciate that. That really helps me out a lot. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Social medias are below. And I will see you guys. Hopefully, well, almost definitely, I will see you guys. Uh, oh, I was going to put me on I was going to put me on the other view, actually. There we go. Uh, hopefully, uh, definitely, I'll see you guys next week. So again, final time, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.